What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another weekly respill episode. Today we're going to talk about all the tea you might have missed over Christmas break, as well as a huge update on the Nikocado versus Stephanie Sue situation. If there's such thing as an Uno reverse reverse card, Stephanie used it. Let's get into it. James Charles found himself in the middle of a bit of drama to start off 2020. Although this time it really wasn't drama, it was more of James Charles defending himself. A Twitter user kept taking James in a TikTok video of two people shopping in a thrift store and finding a heavily discounted sister's hoodie on the clothing rack. James quote tweeted this video and had something to say about it. People have been taking me in this as if I'm supposed to be offended. I already made my money, so joke's on you. But more importantly, why are you dragging goodwill? Maybe it didn't fit, or maybe they weren't a fan anymore. Hopefully someone finds it and gets a great deal. Also, what we aren't going to do is imply that thrift shopping is ghetto. Anything for a little attention, huh? James also went on to talk about something that's been bothering him for a while. He tweeted, While I'm at it, I understand that James Charles straight boy punchlines are an easy way to get likes, but I've had enough of the edited DMs and fake dating app conversations. Some of y'all are far too ugly to ever get my attention, and lying for clout is even uglier. If you guys are unaware, there's been a lot of accounts on TikTok that create fake conversations with James Charles and accuse him of trying to slide into their DMs even though they're straight. Of course, these conversations are fake, but still, a lot of people believe them and they get a lot of views and attention. Someone tweeted James Charles back after his rant and told him he was being mean. James replied to this Twitter user and said, nah, I'm not. What's mean is people making a joke out of something that I've already proved my innocence on that ruined my life and my mental health for months on end. And I, oh. If that wasn't enough drama for James Charles this week, on January 1st, only a few hours into 2020, the hashtag James Charles is over party started trending on Twitter. Someone recorded James Charles' Instagram story from the night before where he sang a popular TikTok song called My Type. In this video, James is being accused of singing a slur that was in the song. Someone tweeted him and said, why did you say the n-word in your Instagram story? James replied to them and said, no, turn the volume up and listen. I skip over it. How stupid would I have to be to confidently record a video of me singing the n-word and still have it up the next morning. A fan of James Charles came to James' defense and said the following, For anyone who still thinks he said the n-word, listen to the video full volume and properly. He skits past the n-word both times. The next part says eight figure, which rhymes and sounds like the n-word. A few days ago, Trisha Paytas posted an Instagram picture with Jaclyn Hill's ex-husband, John Hill. The caption read, Can't wait to get pregnant tonight, John Hill. The comment section of this picture quickly blew up with people saying things like, Isn't that Jaclyn Hill's ex-husband? And... Wait a damn minute, if Jacqueline Hill's year couldn't get any worse. John Hill also posted a picture of him with Trisha to his Instagram. For the rest of the night, Trisha uploaded video after video to her Instagram story, which showed her and John kissing. A YouTuber named Loie Lane posted a tweet about the situation. It read, uh, Trisha Paytas with Jacqueline Hill's ex is the weirdest crossover of all time. Jacqueline actually ended up liking this tweet. Another one of John Hill's ex, Ashlyn, spoke out about the situation and kind of exposed the reason for this extremely weird situation. She tweeted, I just talked to dude on the phone for the first time in forever the other day, and this was planned to piss people off. I mean, I guess it's working. Even Jeffree Star had something to say about this situation. He tweeted, the internet is a mess this morning. He also followed it up with a snapchat and just like the rest of us he really had no words um hi how the hell are we doing if uh you were online last night we saw some crazy shit <laughs> oh my god uh, yeah i was gonna try to articulate what i saw last night and then i said you know what let's just skip over it so good morning how's everyone doing <laughs> This 
this week, Stephanie Sue put out a video defending herself against Nick's video where he tried to debunk Stephanie's first video, Why I'm Scared of Nick Akato Avocado. After Nick put out his video, a lot of people actually believed his side and felt like Stephanie was exaggerating in her video. That's why Stephanie titled her new video, How Nick Akato Manipulated Us All. In this video, Stephanie truly pulled the reverse Udo card on Nick because it was so well done and she explained everything with facts and receipts. This video was so well done that even James Charles commented on it. He said, handing you the Uno reverse card crown, wishing you a safe, happy, and healthy new year, Stephanie. During Stephanie's video, she asked Nick multiple times for him to give her permission to release security footage from her house. She needs his permission because in California, you need both parties' consent to be recorded. The reason Stephanie wants to release the security footage is because it supports the claims she made about him taking pictures in her house and making her feel uncomfortable. The day after posting her video, Stephanie went on Instagram stories stating that she was going to get her lawyers involved in the situation. She says, This is the last time I'll address this entire situation. He posted my security monitor on his video, plus mentioned specific location information about my house in another video. Due to this, I have to obtain attorneys to handle this matter going forward. Veronica Wang also broke her silence on Thursday by putting out a statement about her thoughts and feelings on the situation via Instagram. And I just have to say that I am so proud of Stephanie for standing up against Nick Accato. He really is a mass manipulator. He knows how to twist things. And he finally just messed with the wrong person. And, you know, big ups to Stephanie for... Um, Dealing with that. YouTuber Carly Steele also came forward with a statement about the situation. Carly was the person in Nick's video that was sending him voice notes about Stephanie. It seems like, yeah, like she's just really f selfish. And what's shitty is like they put you in an uncomfortable position because they FaceTimed you with like both of you together and that puts you in an uncomfortable situation because you can't say no, you look bad. It's kind of like, I think she knew what she was doing. She seems very manipulative, like manipulating her way into people's heads and she also manipulates viewers. Carly confirms in her video that she was just comforting her friend and she didn't even really know the entire situation. I thought it was rude. And I'm gonna be honest with you, now that I know all the details and I know how she felt and I know everything, I take it back and I do apologize for judging based on something I didn't know. This week, Tana Mojo uploaded a video to her YouTube channel titled The Truth About Everything. In this video, she opens up about her mental health and talks about her relationship with Jake Paul. Fans found this video really concerning and were starting to see the negative impact Jake was having on Tana. This past Thursday, Tana and Jake took to Instagram to announce their breakup. Tana posted a picture of her and Jake with a caption that read, For right now, we both are taking a break to focus on our own crazy lives. I'll never know what the future holds and I will always love Jake and everything that we did. Jake actually posted the same picture and had this to say. I wouldn't change anything that happened. We're best friends and right now, it's best for us to focus on our own lives and see what the future holds. They then went on to post multiple Instagram stories together talking about their breakup. Hey, wanna get a divorce? <laughs> as long as I keep Thor. Please let me have him. Please no. let me have him. Be fine. Okay. Moon. I think uh, if we would have had kids, we would have held it together for the kids. 